Hello students, so welcome to our English Morphology class. Today we will discuss another process of morphology that is called as interaction with me, Pak Afif Ikhwan Muslimin. So firstly, what I need you to do is you should examine these three examples of sentences. I have um, Bella touches the box, second they touched some boxes, and the third is the box is touchable. So what you need to do is you have to examine what are words that are repeated in those three sentences. Okay, perfect. So the first we have verb touch. So here we have three different form of touch. The first is touchy, second is touched, and the third is touchable. And we also have another word which is repeated that is called as noun, and it is the word box. Okay, so considering the word touched, touches, and touchable, so we can know that they are coming from the same root word that is called as touch as a verb. And touch and touches, they still keep the class of word that is uh, called as verb. But while it is talking about touchable here, so touchable is not longer verb, but it changes into adjective. So there are two processes in these um, examples. That um, The first is that the word keep the class of word, and the second one that the word has changed the class of the word. So what is called an inflection? Inflection is a particular bound morph expressing an inflectional distinctions according to Truss. So here, there is a contributions of bound morphism which is called as a suffix here, like es or s, which is added into the root word touch, so it become touches. Or we have box added by es, then become boxes. So the bound morphism here or the suffix works to help to create the inflectional process. And the second one, inflection is grammatically conditions or expresses grammatical categories like tense, persons, number, gender, and case. So the appearance of the word verb, uh, the verb word like touches, appears because of the subject is uh, third person singular. Or another way, it is also appears because um, the use of expressing habits or something in daily activities like in simple present tense. So there is a, an involvement of a tense shape or the gender or also the number of the participant influence the occurrence of inflections. So inflections here, the operations does not create the change of the class of word. While you are talking about derivations, there will be a change of class of word. When we discuss in deeper analysis, so there is an inflection in the verb. For example, when we have the word touch here, so the root is a touch and it is a verb, then it can be um, formed into touches because the subject is the person singular and it can be touched or touched by adding the ed as a suffix because the activity happened in the past. And also we can change into touching as a verb also when it is talking about something in progress or using present continuous tense here. So the three words touches, touched, and touching, they do not have a change in that class of word. They are still verb. So this is called as inflections. The next process of inflection happens in noun. So when we have the noun like box here as a root and would like to talk it as a plural. So we will add es at the end of the word box. So we can change the word box into boxes. But when we are talking about the class of word here, box and boxes are still in the same class of word that is called as noun. So there is no change class of word. And the next process is inflections in an adjective. So color is also adjective. So when we are talking about an example like brown as a root, as an adjective, and would like to compare one is browner than other. So it means that we add suffix er at the end of the word brown as an adjective. And the, the word changes from brown into browner. They are still in the same class of word. And also when we would like to compare one as superior compared to other, Using superlative comparison, we will add a suffix est at the end of the word brown, so it becomes brownest. So, browner and brownest, they are still in the same class of word with the, um, the root word of the word brown, 
so they are still attractive so this one is also called as inflections process so there are some characteristics of inflections in morphology the first inflections morpheme reflects grammatical informations such as number tense possessions as we have discussed before that the change of the words when we add a suffix or pawn morpheme at the end of the word uh, it it is influenced because of the intentions to match between the subject and the predicate or correlate with the numbers or because we are have a certain intention to use a certain tense and the second one is that it usually in the form of suffixes in english so suffix here we add uh, we add a bond morpheme at the end of the roots like ing or s or ed and many other things on the other hand it is also no change of meaning so touch and touches touch and touch it they are still in the same class of word and the next one does not change does not change the class of word so reviewing the previous um explanations that touch and touches they are still in a verb class of word and they still have a core meaning that is uh, talking about the same action that is about using part of the body to grab something or to minion to something and the next characteristics is that they are always attached to a complete words so when we have an example like impressionist here actually this word comes from the root word impressed and that is an addition that is called as in as a suffix and also is uh, to characterize a specialist or someone who does something so when we would like to talk about many impressionists we cannot say that impressions uh, assist or we put s after the impressions or we put es after the impressed impressionist so impossible to do that so we can only add the bound morpheme really at the back of the complete word. So this one will not change the class of word. Impressionist is still now. Impressionist with S at the back is also still now. So those are called as the characteristics of inflections. So keep learning morphology. Morphology is very interesting. See you later. Thank you very much.